Welcome back, Air Gunners, to another edition of the Air Gun Advisor. And in case you couldn't tell by that thumbnail image that I have starting this video, the Brokaw Concept Light is a gun that I just had a blast shooting and really just worked well for me. And it's the third of the Brokaw line that I've had the opportunity to shoot. And some of those I purchased myself and some were sent to me for testing purposes. And I don't care if I bought it off the shelf over at Baker Air Guns or if AOA sent it to me for testing, it has, they have all been superbly accurate and a pleasure to shoot. So about this Brokaw Concept Light, it comes to us just under $1,200. It comes in 177 caliber, 22 caliber, and 25 caliber. Comes with the power adjusting knob on there and a three year warranty. So an awesome little package packed full of features. Now, when we say features, there are a variety of things that we want to take a look at here. The first and foremost, let's take a look at start with the barrel and we're going to work our way towards the back. So the barrel is a shrouded barrel. Inside you have a barrel that is slightly choked. And what that means is as an air gun shooter, you're not only going to be able to shoot those traditional 22 caliber Diablo pellets, but that means this barrel is also prepared to start shooting those hybrid slugs that everybody is talking about and are available from another number of manufacturers. So whether you're a plinker or you want to take this thing out into the field, this setup is ready for you. At the end of the barrel, you have a one half by 20 threaded muzzle for your moderators. This one has a zero DB moderator on it, which worked great for me out in the field as well as out in the range. You also notice that it does not have the traditional carbon fiber bottle that we're seeing on a lot of air guns these days. And it comes instead with a 180 cc air cylinder on the front, which you will need a fill adapter or comes with a fill adapter. And that goes right underneath here. And you notice as I removed the cover, it was a little, it was a little bit stiff to pull off of there. And that's because it's sealed. So it means it's going to be fine out in the field as far as not getting any moisture or dirt up in the fill valve system in here. And that, again, that um, fill valve goes right in here uh, in the front here. And then you can close it up and it is, again, sealed from the elements. As we move back, you're going to notice it has a tri-rail system in here, Picatinny rail system, and that can be utilized for your bipod. It can also be utilized for flashlights, lasers, night optics, whatever you want to use that you would normally use on any of your regular firearms can be adjusted and put onto this air rifle. Also, it has an 11 millimeter dovetail, and on this, and for testing purposes, I use this MTC Optics Mamba Ultra Light three by 10 by 40. So, which is also great in the field, a great little hunting scope because it's nice and light and not going to be bulky and hard to maneuver. As you go further back, you'll notice that you have the large uh, cocking hammer here. And the one thing that I've read on a lot of forums is that the bro cock cocking handle is a little bit stiff. This one came to me and it is, I'll tell you, I need to see how it flops down. It is buttery smooth. Um, so I don't know if Brocock has been adjusting some things and listening to your uh, recommendations, uh, but this one is just great out of the box. Also has a single shot tray, 10 round rotary magazine. Again, it comes with the adjustable butt stock here so it can adjust the length of pull to your exact specifications. And it's very nice if you're gonna be taking somebody with you out into the field that you can also adjust it for them on the fly and make sure it's comfortable for them as well. You have the grip down here is a AK-47 grip. It can be removed and put any of your aftermarket parts that you would normally use for your AK on here. Uh, Two-stage adjustable trigger, which I found in my testing to come in at one pound, five ounces. And You'll also be able to adjust this lighter if you would like or heavier if you would like for your specific needs. The one thing that I, if this was my rifle that I was keeping that I would want to buy as an accessory is the folding stock adapter that would could go right here so I could fold that stock in, really kind of make it even more compact. 
uh, for transportation purposes as well as carrying it out in the field. And you know, a high quality one, you can buy some lower quality ones for about $20, $30. You know, you're gonna have a little wobble and play in it. A nice high quality one is gonna run you about $100, $150. And it'd be a great accessory to add to this rifle. Um, as well as adding your own adjustable buttstock that you might currently own at your house now and throw it right onto your Brocock Concepts light and go run right into the field and have a good time too. So some things to consider there. Lastly, this is a Huma regulated rifle and you're gonna get a lot of great shots out of it. And we're gonna talk about the chronograph data here in a moment. But you also notice on the side here, it has a power knob. So that power knob, if you're somebody who wants to go out in the field and you go from field to let's say a barn or a small building where you're gonna to have to do some pesting as far as uh, you know birds and whatnot, you don't wanna shoot through the roof, you can crank that power down and have it all figured out ahead of time as to your, your holdovers and so forth for each power level based on what you need. Or you can just keep it all the way up and keep that shooting at a high strong level for out in the field purposes. So if you are somebody who's out pesting, this kind of gives you a lot of different variables and a lot of different options to use uh, based on the situation that you're in. So I like that too. Uh, so, you know, I mentioned a minute ago that this is a Huma regulated air gun. And of course we have to do some chronograph testing. So right above me here, you're gonna notice a graph. That graph is showing a shot string that I had the shot string uh, that I found was about 45 shots that are regulated off of this small 180 cc cylinder, which means that you're going to get plenty of seat time if you're taking this air gun out plinking before you have to refill. And if you're hunting or pesting, you're gonna get plenty of shots to complete your, complete your mission out there and you know get the game or quarry that you need and do just fine with that as well. So. Uh, again, another wonderful option. This is a very uh, well-built feeling air gun in your hands. It feels, I would say, military grade. Uh, it feels like it's something that is a quality product. So that's something that I liked about it too. The best part about this air gun that I found was when I took it out into the field uh, to do some group testing. And of course, my groups are all at 50 yards. So you can compare rifle to rifle as, I've, as we go through and add new uh, equipment to the list at 50 yards this thing was spot on and not even trying out of the box not adjusting anything i was able to get groups at under three quarters of an inch now i really focused and buckled down to get some groups for video purposes after i found the pellets that i liked i got groups that were even smaller than that i got groups at 0.536 inches and that's not center to center. If we take that and do center to center group measurements, it was 0.316 inches center to center using a 22 caliber pellet. That right there makes for a very fine air gun. And I was using again, the exact jumbo heavy Diablo pellets in point one, or excuse me, 18.33 grains. So uh, a great option to at least start out your testing on if you pick up the Brocock Concepts Light. Well guys, as always, I appreciate your viewership. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications when new videos come out. And until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth and your pellets fly straight. We're gonna see you right here on the Airgun Advisor. <laughs> this thing is sweet.